The main function of Lozi mythology is to show that the original Lozi people the Luyi or Luyana were dwellers on the Baratsi floodplain of the upper Zambezi River and that they are, therefore, entitled to claim unchallenged title to that homeland. Secondly, Lozi mythology gives legitimacy to the Lozi kingdom's foundations, by linking the monarchy and the people to a creator god, whom the Lozi call Nyam. Nyambi's wife was Nasalele which means, she who is associated with long things, and his mother was Ngula which means, she who is pregnant. Nyam is said to have created both his wife and his mother. He is also said to have created everything else that exists, including the heaven, the earth and all the plants and animals. The founding myths The Lozi founding myth is not cast in stone, there are several versions of it, depending on who is telling the story. Like any other oral tradition, it has changed with the passage of time, but there are some elements that do not change, such as the name of the Creator God, the name of the first man, and the name of the first sovereign. The three versions of the Lozi founding myth given below are not the only ones. Topic. Nyam flees from Kamunu One of Nyambi's creations was Kamunu, the first human being. Nyam gave Kamunu the task of naming all the other creations and told the human being that all the animals were his siblings. As such he should look after them. Kamunu, being the most intelligent of all Nyambi's creations, rapidly learned and copied Nyambi's various skills, the mastery over fire, the forging of metal, the art of molding pottery, the carving of spoons, plates and canoes, the sowing of crops, and the domestication of animals. Although Nyam was at first impressed, he soon became tired of Kamunu's mimicry, especially when the man started killing the animals and cooking their meat for food. Nyam told Kamunu not to kill the other creatures but Kamunu would not stop. To punish this misbehavior, Nyam began taking away Kamunu's possessions, first his pot broke, then his dog died and eventually his son died. This, according to the Lozi, was the way that death came to the human race. In frustration, Nyam moved away from Kamunu on several occasions but, wherever Nyam moved to on the Zambezi floodplains, Kamunu would follow. Eventually Nyam decided to cross the Zambezi River, but Kamunu carved a canoe and followed. Nyam built a mountain and lived on its summit, but Kamunu climbed the mountain and found Nyam. Finally, Nyam decided to move away from Earth into Heaven called Lituma in Lozi mythology. To accomplish this, and to prevent Kamunu from following, Nyam instructed a spider to weave a web. Once Nyam had used the spider's web to climb into Lituma, he blinded the spider so that it would not tell Kamunu how to get to Heaven. That is how Kamunu remained on earth, condemned to live and die here after Nyam refused to provide medicine to prevent disease and death. Hence death is Kamunu's divine punishment for his disobedient behavior. <laughs> Nyam founds the Lozi nation In this version, Nyam is shown to be the founder of the Lozi nation. Nyam and his wife Nasalele had a daughter Mawamwa which means one who is being talked about. In a variation on this theme, Nyam is said to have created many wives for himself and had children by all of them. This story also legitimizes polygyny in the Lozi nation. When Mwamwa had grown up, Nyam fell in love with her and had incestuous sexual intercourse with her. When Nasalele found out what had happened between her husband and her daughter, she quarreled with her husband and beat her daughter. Nyam was so upset by his wife's behavior that he called his servant, Sasisho, and announced his decision to return to heaven. Nyam ordered a spider to spin a web, so that he and his servant could climb to heaven leaving Nasalele on earth. Due to her remorse, Nasalele died a few weeks later. Mawamwa, the daughter of Nyam and Nasalele, later became the first Luyi sovereign and, therefore, founder of the nation. Her eldest daughter, whose name was M. Buyu and who was presumably conceived from the incest with Nyam, took over the sovereignty from her mother. <laughs> Nyam founds the Lozi nation as the first person. In this version of the founding myth, Nyam was not the creator god but was the first human being. All Luyi peoples were said to have originated from him. In this account, the identity of the creator is not stated explicitly. Instead, the people in the myth are simply stated to have been living on the Zambezi floodplains. Nyambi's village was called Lituma Mundi wa Nyam which means, Heaven, the home of Nyam, in Luyana and his first wife was called Mawamwa. 
She later became the first female chief of the Luyi people. Through this myth, the Lozi royalty was said to originate from Mwamwa. She was, therefore, given the title Jimakati which means, a woman from whom the kingdom originates. She is also said to have given birth to nine other children, including a daughter named Mbuyu, who took over the sovereignty from her mother. References Harold Shub, Niam and the Origin of Death. A Dictionary of African Mythology, Oxford University Press, 2000 Harold Shub, Niam Moves Away from Aggressive Men. A Dictionary of African Mythology, Oxford University Press, 2000 Harold Shub, Nyambi Flees from Assertive Men. A Dictionary of African Mythology, Oxford University Press, 2000 https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh oh six oh five one one oh oh one two one slash http colon slash slash ww dot baroland dot com slash two early history dot pdf http colon slash slash ww dot sacred dash texts dot com slash afr slash mlb slash mlb o four htm